Mr. Clare here from Clare Maths. Today we're going to be looking at a paper 2015, paper two, question four of the HQA Higher Maths exam paper. Let's jump straight in. Okay, this one was about a wall plaque made to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the publication of Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so the edges of the wall plaque are modelled by quadratic functions. And there's one, two, three, four, and it gives you four bullet point equations. So what makes this one difficult is that it giving you all these equations, all this information, but you just need to keep your head. So let's look at part A. Find the coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs of y equals f of x and y equals g of x. So point of inter intersection means simultaneous equations. So the two ones I need are this one and this one. Since we, that would equal y and y, so I can just make both of these equal to each other. So to get one mark for part a, I'll just do here. I can just write a quarter x squared minus a half x plus three equals a quarter x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 5. And that will give you your first mark. Okay, now we need to solve that to get the x part. And it only asks for the x part, so that's good. Notice if you've got the same thing on both sides, they just automatically cancel. So immediately I can just get like a red pen or something and go, that's the same as that. Same sign and everything, so I can cancel them. I've got minus a half x, so I can add three halves x to both sides, and that will get rid of it on this side. So let's just do that and do it in stages. Three halves take away one half is two halves, which is one. So that just gives us x left on this side plus three equals five. And then we can just solve that to find x, take away three, so x equals two. As unlikely as it seems, our answer. Part B says the graphs of f of x and h of x intersect on the y-axis. The plaque has a vertical line of symmetry. Calculate the area of the wall pack. You should know a power word for integration is area. So if it says area, you need to integrate and you need to find the two limits. So we've already got our first limit at zero. We need to know this one. Well, this one is going to be the same as this one, which you worked out in part A, where these two intersect was two. So that's just two. So I need to do the integral of the upper f of x minus the lower h of x between 0 and 2. So making sure you're copying it down properly, it's the integral between 0 and 2 of f of x, which is a quarter x squared minus a half x plus 3. Put that in brackets. Take away h of x, which is this one, 3 eighths of x squared minus 9 quarters of x plus 3 dx. So at that point you may be wondering well how much marks do I get? Well at that point you get a mark for knowing to integrate so using the integration sign just that. Another mark for putting in the limits 0 to 2 and then another mark for writing down the two curves taken away from each other. So three marks for literally doing no work. It's not bad that. And then we need to integrate it and you actually only get one further mark for the integration. So all the tidying up you're going to do now, you're not going to get any marks for, but you still need to do it to be able to integrate. So let's tidy this up. So that gives us the integral between 0 and 2. You've got a quarter x squared minus 3 eighths x. So a quarter is 2 eighths. So being very careful, you've got 2 eighths minus 3 eighths. You've got minus an eighth of x squared. Looking at the x parts, you've got minus a half, minus, minus becomes plus, so plus nine quarters. Well, putting a half into quarters is two quarters, so you've got minus two quarters plus nine quarters is seven quarters. So plus seven quarters x. And then we've got our number parts, but they cancel. Three, take away three is nothing. So we get the integral of this between zero and two. And then we need to integrate it, so that gives us x cubed, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So 3 times 8 I need to do, which is 24. And then plus x squared, I've got 7 still, but I need to divide by 2. So I've got 4 already on the bottom, so 4 times 2 is 8. And that's between 0 and 2. So that gives us a, another mark at that point. So let's move on and substitute our limits in. So 
So we've got minus 2 cubed over 24 plus 7 times 2 squared over 8. Take away minus 0 cubed over 24 plus 7 times 0 squared over 8. Okay, so we get a mark for our substitution. And then we need to evaluate it to get another mark. So we could use a calculator at this point because it is a calculator paper, but I'll just go ahead and do it without. So we've got two twos of four times two is eight over 24. So minus eight over 24. And then the other number, two twos of four, four sevens is 28. So you get 28 over eight. And luckily you've substituted zero in here. So that is a big fat zero for this. Zero cubed is zero over that is still zero, zero squared is zero, over that is still zero. So you just need to work out these fractions. So I can simplify the fractions. Well, actually, I'll, I'll add them first before I simplify because it'll be easier to see. So minus eight over 24, and then we've got 28 over eight, eight threes is 24. So times them by three, I get three times 20. So we get 84. So now we can add them, 84 take away 8 is 76 over 24. Simplify that, because you have to always have simplified answers. So I'll just divide through by 2 to get 35, 36, 37, 38 over 12. Divide them by 2 at the end to get 19 over 6. And 19 is a prime number, 6 doesn't go into it, so 19 over 6 is our final answer for another mark. And feel free to do that in any way you want to get 19 over 6. But that isn't the answer. You need to check your question. Calculate the area of the wall plaque. Well, we have calculated the area from here to here. So all that bit, if I was to draw a line down here. But you can see it's symmetrical. It even tells you it's symmetrical. So the area of the wall plaque is double the area I just found out. So our final area, just to get our final seventh mark, the area, I like total equals 19 over 6 times 2. 2 times 19 over 6, well, that's the same as 19 over 3. So 19 over 3 is our final answer for our final last mark. This has been Claire Mass today. We've been looking at an integration question, quite a difficult one from 2015, paper 2. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.